So obviously, this guy has been bearish, right, for a very long time. You know, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower high, lower low. Lower eye, lower low, right, and then you know, lower eye, and lower low. Okay, so this guy has been bearish. All right. So we had all of this bearish move when this guy was created and all of that. But then right now we see that price has closed above this previous high. Okay, so that means potentially this guy could, you know, start going all the way up. Okay, so now that we have ascertained that, let's see, you know, some of the smart money plays that this guy responds to majorly. Okay, so um, this is how I would like us to do it. So we have the checklist. Okay, structure range, um, liquidity, all right, fib levels. Okay, so this is what we would be working with since this is our checklist for trading smart money. All right, so we want to see structure want to see structure, want to see structure, okay? Now let's go down to the four hours and see. Okay. All right, so now based on structure, let's just start from here. You know, we had this lower eye and this lower low, okay? Now, if we were to trade this guy, Right, we would have been looking. Looking at this area, all right. But then they didn't come all the way up. So let's check why they rejected from here. Okay. So please, I like this to like be interactive. So once we find um, a smart money play that was respected, um, someone could just help us like write it down and drop it in the group. All right. So after we are done, we can now look at, um, so let's say uh, price played imbalances like 10 times and then it played smart money cubes like five times, right? At the end, we'll be able to know that um, the extent one is place imbalances more than smart money cube. So that by the time you are trading this guy, when you see a smart money cube, you would rather play the imbalance than the smart money cube, all right? That's the whole idea of back testing, to know which one it consistently responds to so that you can streamline the things that you'll be looking out for, all right? So if it's playing mitigation candles or institutional candles more 
then it means that if I see an institutional candle and I see an imbalance, I would rather play the institutional candle because more often than not, in an average of 100%, price would play the institutional candle, like let's say 60%. Do you understand? That's the whole idea and the whole goal for back testing. Okay. So I think this was where the feed started from. So let's start from here. All right. So for me, structure, I am low, I am high, right? Break of structure here. Okay. So what did they do? Let me remove this. So firstly, all right. So firstly, some of us, someone like me, would have been waiting up here. Please, just a minute. Okay, let's just this feed. Okay. So this was where we were up here. So I was saying that someone like me would have been waiting up here, right? Because there's an imbalance here, there's imbalance here, this institutional fund is there, okay? But then on this move, what did they play? Now, some of you guys call it um, um, Z mitigation block or breaker block. I really don't know what you guys call it. Breaker block, all right. sir. All right, all right, all right. Breaker block. So now, for me, this is simple. I don't like to complicate things for myself. Now, if you switch to the line charts, this is a whole swing, right? This is a whole swing. This is range high, range low, and then understanding the behavioral pattern of smart money. They can pump so much money in the market and create a swing for us. Okay. Now, once they create that swing, this cell right here, this guy is in drawdown. Okay is in drawdown. Now, when they bought and sold, which of the positions do you think will be in a drawdown now? Obviously, they are buy. This they are buy would be in the drawdown. OK. And we said the whole idea of mitigation is that they either come to the open or 50%. So it means that they can decide to come into the open of this entire push up. 
and continue to the downside. Or come into 50% and continue going. That way, these buy positions are already at break even, or even they, they could close this in profits. Okay, so um, I think I thought on it in the accumulation and distribution class. Okay, so they can either decide to mitigate the whole move or 50% of the entire move, or then they can play the institutional candle, blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah. All right, but here, what did they do? They just tapped the open and did what? And fell. Okay. So maybe your stops would have been here or here. Or someone like me will never, never take that trade. Because then would you put your stop loss? Okay. So that was what they played. They played the open of the entire move. Okay. So let's move on. Now, please, Mr. Levinus, please stop writing on my screen. Thank you so much. Please kindly help me remove the annotation. Cheers and love bless. All right. So now we know that below major lows, we are looking out for accumulations above major eyes. We are looking out for distributions, right? So if this was lower eye and then lower low, we would have been anticipating that they come here of Trading view. Sorry, guys. Let me reload. Okay, so let's go to where we were. <laughs> okay, so. All right. Okay, so I was saying that we could have been looking at this area, you know, to join the cell down. All right. And then, so here, what did they do? Lower eye, I'm sorry, lower low, lower eye lower low, then they broke structure right here, okay? And then the first thing they played here was what? Oh, smart a money smart cube. money cube. Smart money cube. All right, so that means that number one, we have seen them come into the open of the entire move, 
and they they rejected from there. Number two, we have seen them reject from a smart money cube. All right, so yes. So please, you can take that down. So we want to know which one is more consistent. Yeah, MT5 is better at back testing, but I, I don't have MT5 on my laptop. Yeah. I prefer doing my analysis on trading view. So please pardon me, guys. I hope I'm forgiven. Okay, so sorry, everybody. All right, so oh, what are we looking at? Sorry guys for the delay. So they play the smart money cube here. All right. And then later on, why why did price reject from here? From this area. Let's see. There was an institutional candle. All right. So that makes it our third um, observation, right? First is the open of the entire push. Second is the smart money cube. Third is an institutional candle. Okay. So let's move and keep following that structure. Okay. Now we have a new lower high. This previous lower low was swept. Okay. Um, now, something that you guys should have noticed, or maybe it's only me, is that once this guy makes his move, <laughs> if you miss that entry, it may not come back for you. Who else has observed that in just this little time? Because I mean, 
based on the four hour structure, this should be our point of interest. All right. This equal eyes were swept liquidity, which makes it a beautiful spot. And then also, there is an imbalance here. So you understand? So we would have been waiting for this guy. Or did he come back? No. He didn't come back for us. Do you understand? So let's see if we can get a lower time frame entry. All this region, let's see if we would have if we would have been able to catch okay. Oh no. Right, let me go back to that area so we can see. I think I traded this guy for some time last year. And I also noticed that it ranges a lot. It ranges a lot. Okay, so uh, let's mark this area. I'm going to the 15 minutes. Okay, I'm not sure we'll be able to have the data for that. Oh, I'm not so sure. But then let's just continue. We need to find our observations. Okay. So now this was what do you guys call this? What do you guys call this? Breakup block. Breakup block. Uh, some people could see this as um, uh, this stuff. A flip zone, yeah. All right. You know, this was kind of like a support. This became a resistance, you know, blah, 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 blah. But then this was the one. Please, can you 